Hi everybody, Ben here from Atlas Ordinary. So I am going to do some um, terracotta alcohol ink pots. I really loved the last lot that I did. So I'll grab one to show you. So I did these smaller pots, which came out absolutely beautiful. So I want to do some more, but I'm actually going to put in a lot more ink this time so I don't get any of these blank spots. Sometimes the negative space looks good, but um, not this time. I want it to be completely covered. So, <clears throat> and I've got much larger pots. I've got these nice, beautiful, I don't know how big they are, but it's a nice size pot really. Um, so I'm going to do that. So first of all, I need to put this aside because um, I need as much workspace as I can to put down the cling wrap. So it's got different names in different countries, but we've always called it Glad Wrap because that's what the company is. But what you need to do is try and get a piece out as normal as possible. You don't want to overly scrunch up. So I'm going to go the whole area. I've got this suppose of easy cutter, which sometimes is easy cutter and sometimes isn't. So we'll put that down. But because my pot is so big, I definitely need to join two of these together. So I'm just going to move that up, trying to keep it level. And now I want to join this second piece onto it. Once it touches, it sticks. So there, that should be good. So it doesn't really matter if you've got a little bit extra. Just, um, it doesn't matter if you've got a little bit less either. You can always just add a little bit more after. So I'll put this aside. That should cover that pot. Oops. All right, that there should. So now what we want to do is, we want to put the ink down onto the glad wrap. You best to do this way, put the ink on the glad wrap, not the ink straight onto the pot. You get much better, more even distribution. So what I have is my alcohol ink. This is teal and I've got blue violet. So I'm gonna do teal and blue violet for the moment. So the base is going to be there, so I don't need too much where the actual base is. And this is something you can't um, take a lot of time to do because the alcohol ink will start to dry. So what we are doing is just putting the ink down in the colours that we want. They are really simple. Now we're going to put the pot straight down into the center where I haven't put much ink. And then we want to just fold this up. Onto our pot. I keep going to say canvas, but I've, it's not a canvas, it's a pot. Now I probably before I go too much further, put some gloves on because alcohol inks get stained really quickly. I should have done this first of all. So now what we want to do is we don't want these white spots. So we're just going to move it around a little bit. Push it on. I 
I just give it a tap with my hand in this because you want it to have a good um, contact with the actual pot so this is my worst spot so what I'm going to do is put it back that way and then get teal I think and I'm just going to unravel that one little corner and then put some alcohol there and then fold it back. And then make sure I've got good contact again. And so I just pat it down double check all of it is coated doesn't matter if you get any on the base or on the inside you can always wash it off so some parts are quite heavily inked and some not as much but you want it to have these creases and patterns in it because that's going to give you the effects Okay, so that there is pretty covered now. It looks like it's going to be a lot more of the deeper blue than it will the teal, but that's absolutely fine. So now what I do with this is, I just leave this like that without touching it anymore to dry. It will take um, most likely a day. Um, could be a little bit less depending if it's warm. It could be a lot longer if it's cold. So... Usually a day is a pretty good um, area where you, it, it should be done, but you don't want to, if it looks like it's still wet, don't do it. So I'm just going to put this one aside. And now I've got another pot. So I'm going to do the same colours, but I'm going to do it a little bit different this time. So now I'm going to get the wrap and put it down. A little bit more. So for this piece, I'm going to do the same colours, just so I can see what the difference makes depending on what um, type of technique I do about it. So again, put the ink down. So you don't really want to use any of the alcohol, um, like your isopropyl alcohol here because it will actually make an effect. Um, it will delay the drying time and it weakens the color. So now I am going to just drape that over. So this is more me just draping it over onto the pot instead of actually putting it all on the sides and swishing it up. So, and it says any parts that don't have any ink, you can always just add a little bit and squish it down. that inside that pot there 
So that's virtually one whole side cupboard. I am making a few patterns by squishing it in a different manner, in different shapes. I think I could add it a little bit more just under this edge here. So see how I did actually put it straight on the pot? You can do that, but I do find it's better when you do it on the, the wrap first. Okay, now. I gotta add a second piece onto this, which probably doesn't have to be as big as the first piece. So see how that's already drying, that's okay. It, you can always um, erase these. So that's one good thing about them. If you find that once you've taken off, it doesn't look any good, you just need to get your um, isopropyl alcohol and completely clean it off until it is white again. So that's why it doesn't matter if you get it on the base or on your inside because it will actually erase Trying to keep everything as clean as possible. So now I just want to move that a little bit over. Put this here and I want to drape it over that bit. So I want it to get all the way to these two edges there. Stick that bottom bit down. A little bit more colour up there. Alrighty. So I'm going to squash that down. Fold it in on the inside. So yeah, sometimes there's a lot of ink, like I probably have put a lot of ink on this one, but I'd rather put a decent amount on the first time and have it looking good, than use not enough and have to keep going back and re-adding ink later on, or it becoming a wasted project. Because then you're using twice as much ink anyway to do it a second time. So now, this one here is done in the same colours. I'm going to put that one there, aside to dry. And I'm going to have the third pot. So I've got four that I'm doing today. I like these colours, but I'm going to do some slightly different this time. So put down my glad wrap or cling wrap. I think I've heard people call it <clears throat> sarin wrap before. Just depends where you're from and even within Australia sometimes different states use different words. So okay next one. Now, what colour should I do? <coughs> I've got a whole bunch of alcohol inks here. Um, those are the ones I've got large bottles of, so I'm a little bit more like, ah, uh, it doesn't matter if I use a bit more colour. I wonder if I did a blue and a teal? Maybe blue, teal and a bit of black. That might actually look quite nice. I won't use a lot of the black though. Probably use more blue. Oh, comes out of this bottle differently. So you do have to be a little bit not afraid to use the ink because what will happen is 
if you don't use a map it ends up just not being as well defined as what you would like and trust me that's what I did at first I was always like no I've got to be very sparing with this because I don't like wasting a lot but sometimes you just have to actually use a little bit now I'm just going to put drops of this black around I don't actually want the black to be overly heavy it's probably just going to give it a nice smoky color I think I might need a little bit more Baja blue So once I squash this onto the sides, it should actually cover this nicely. Get my other inks out of the way. This should cover a fair bit of it. So I'm just going to slide that down a little bit. Bring my pot a bit closer. And then bring it up and over. I find to keep it in place, I'm best to squash the bottom and then work on the top and the sides. So I'm going to fold that back about there so I can actually get the other colours up to here. It actually looks like it's that black in there is going to give me some nice smoky colours. Alrighty, now same thing, I've got to fold that back so I can join <clears throat> the next lot of colour up to there. So look at them, they're really nice. So I just put that off to the side, get more wrap. I don't actually need a hugely big piece this time. And then we just go again. Put down the blue. Put down some teal. Add a little bit of smoky black. I think I actually did order a smoky grey or whether it might have been one I had planned to order and didn't actually get. So again, bring the pot down, but the colours, you can see where that smoky green and the blue, they're actually going to make really, really good colours here. So now it's just a matter of lifting it up, squashing it on. All right, tuck it in, make sure it's completely coated. And remember, you don't want it completely flat. You need these wrinkles and that in it to give you the effects. So that's what's going to give you the different patterns throughout it when you do it this style. And even now, as I move this around, I can see the inks kind of moving a little bit. So it's kind of going to make a little bit more patterning. But that's pot number three. So as you can see, super quick and easy, but also really fun. So, I did say I was going to do four. I can only fit three on my drying board because the pots were a bit bigger than I had actually planned. So, 
it looks like I'm only going to have those three for today. But that's all right. I've got... That means I can do three pots next time in my other colours. So my friend's coming over. I'm going to give him a one-on-one um, -on -one class about how to do these. So that should work out quite well. So just cleaning off my nibs a little bit. The alcohol does dry quickly, so it's kind of already stained whatever it's touched. So that's okay. Put the caps back on. You don't want to leave caps off on any of these. Really, I should put the cap on straight after I have used it. Okay, so let me bring the board back. <clears throat> so I put it on these pieces of wood. As you can see, the ink's actually coming out in spots at the bottom, so don't put it on anything delicate. Um, but there are my three pots, and they're all in the blue tones. So blue tones um, suit my house. Um, purples, they kind of go well. But all we have to do now is just let these dry, and all those patterns will come through, and then we can unwrap them and see what actually has happened. So... Each time they'll look a little bit slightly different just because it's a fluid art. So it does that. And I'll show you how I clean these off and make them more presentable because there's ink that's on the bottom, ink that's gone inside. Um, I'll do all that once they're dry. So now just leave these, let them settle and they will come out awesome. I'm sure of it. And look, that's why you wear gloves because you will get ink in, you've got no idea how the ink gets places, but it gets places. So that's virtually about it for today. Um, there's not much more I can really show you until I actually do the unveiling. I will just grab another pot. So, this is one I did with the teal and the blue violet before. Now I don't have the best lighting here. There we go. But see these patterns that have come through? Really, really cute. I haven't cleaned these up yet. Um, so the base is still, and this one doesn't have a hole in the bottom. So these are more for indoors when I can actually use these indoors and outdoors. The main thing is sealing them properly because the alcohol inks will fade. But I'm quite pleased with this and I'm thinking these being bigger pots they'll actually look good these are kind of getting getting them done ready for Christmas because I think I need to make a few Christmas presents the shops don't seem to have everything that I'm looking for so this will be it so that'll be it for my video today I will have to do part two in a second video because I don't know how to join videos together to show um, making of them and the unveiling in the same video so the next video will be me taking the wrap off and showing you what they look like and giving them a clean up so that will be it for today thanks everyone have a good afternoon and i'll see you soon for another pour okay bye